WLWT taking on new debt now, playing catch up on the city's roads and vehicles. Yeah, that's going to be a major focus tomorrow at City Hall, where they are now braced for this new budget. WLWT News 5's John London leading the way live with what it means to you. John. Yeah, uh, Mike, no new taxes. The budget will be balanced. It will be geared towards the basics as Harry Black puts his stamp on areas he believes have been overlooked. Here's a glimpse of city service showing its age, the maintenance facility. In his first biennial budget tomorrow, city manager Harry Black will include a major capital component. The basics. And doing, and doing it right, the basics. It's not sexy, John, but it's incredibly important to get it done. Councilman Chris Smitherman says basics have been neglected for too long. Example, the city paved on average 125 lane miles per year from 2000 to 2008. From 09 through 14, that average dropped to 89 miles. Take a tour of the salt truck fleet and facilities. Deferred maintenance there could run 50 million. Then there's general facilities deterioration. Eyeball it and start basic math. I would say deferred maintenance there is about 50 million. Uh, we talk about our police department. We're talking cruisers and buildings. I would say we're in the $50 million range. Quoting a city engineering document, based upon current conditions, it would require a one-time capital investment of $208 million. The new administration believes patchwork doesn't work, that we're at a tipping point with city roads and vehicles, and that additional debt spread over a longer period of time is now the capital cost of catching up. The music hall lesson. City owned but not fully maintained, so the private sector is picking up the slack. These are the things that we've got to really focus on to make sure that the next generation in Cincinnati, that they're not inheriting all of these deferred maintenance issues. For the first time, expect the operations budget to include parking meter money to run the streetcar in 15 months. But City Hall is about to see major recommendations on infrastructure and how to play catch up. So council will have a lot to chew on. The Cranley administration believes that assuming more debt now for capital needs over, spread out over a longer period of time will pay off in the long run. Of course, it will also shrink the space to take on more debt in the years ahead. Reporting live at City Hall, John London, WWT News 5. All right, John, thank you. Now, the city manager will outline his first budget tomorrow morning. The mayor, John Cranley, has 15 days to comment and send it along to city council.